Okay, we'll be talking about a zero coupon bond. Okay, a zero coupon bond, as the main as the name suggests, it has zero coupon, which means it doesn't pay any coupons, doesn't pay interest. Instead, it's issued at a discount to par. All right, the bondholder does not receive interest but profit when the bond matures. And the discount to par is calculated to provide a similar rate of return to investor as if he is um, expecting an interest payment. Another concept is stripping. Okay, stripping a bond. All right, what do we mean by stripping? Suppose we have a bond, okay, that's the, um, described with this timeline where it um, pays four coupons, coupon one, coupon two, coupon three, and coupon four, and also par at maturity. What we do is we can strip this coupon into five zero coupon bonds. The first is a zero coupon bond paying at maturity the amount equivalent to coupon one. The second is another zero coupon bond paying at maturity amount equivalent to coupon two. The third is zero coupon bond and at maturity pays an amount equivalent to coupon three. And the fourth, a zero coupon bond and at maturity pays amount of coupon four. And the fifth, also at maturity, it will pay a par, the par value. So you see the originally this, um, this bond can be stripped into five zero coupon bonds. So stripping actually provides um, flexibility to an investor. Okay, suppose because an investor, he or she might want only um, to get the coupon payment of this. Okay, uh, whereas if he, if she feels that getting this, the entire bond is too heavy, he or she might just choose this or perhaps this, all right, or perhaps this, this, and this. So it provides um, an, kind of like an a la carte, okay, um, way of deciding which payments that he or she wants. Okay, this stripping is normally performed by the central depository, which breaks the security into the zero coupon bonds and del deliver them back, um, selling them back to the investor and it's normally used in government bonds. Okay.